There have been a ton of rumors about Danielle Harris possibly returning in Halloween Kills. Well, we have the answer. Hey, ladies and gents, how's it going? We're here with another Halloween video for all you. Hope you're having a fan-fucking-tastic day wherever you are out there in the YouTube world or the real physical world or whatever the fuck world we're all living in anymore. It's hard to tell some days. Uh, today's video, we're going to dive in to what everybody's been talking about for a few months now, whether Danielle Harris is, in fact, in Halloween Kills or not. We have the answer. Uh, this is Phantom Empire. I'm your host, Sean. Thank you for taking some time today to uh, sit down and watch another one of our YouTube videos. Hopefully, uh, you think the video quality is improving in the way that they're put together. Uh, if you can leave a comment on that in the comment section below, it would be appreciated. If you think we need to improve in areas, uh, don't be afraid to let us know that either. We're, uh, we're looking to improve our content for all of you guys out there. Uh, so first off guys, smash that subscribe button, click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new Halloween content coming. And we have a metric shit ton of deep, real fucking deep Halloween kills content coming for you guys. Like we've never done anything like this before. The next two months are going to be crazy. We're going to have videos coming out the ass, not every day, but basically every other day. Sometimes it'll be multiple days in a row. All sorts of different ha juicy, juicy Halloween content for all you guys. Before we jump into whether Danielle Harris is in this movie or not, uh, we have a multiple choice question to get to from all you guys. So in this video's multiple choice question, because we want to entice fan engagement down in the comment section below, we want to hear what your say is. We want to know where your Halloween interest and, in, uh, you know, your favorite, you know, things about Halloween lie. So in this video, we're going to put two Halloween movies up against each other once again. So you have Halloween 5 or Halloween 6. Now, it doesn't matter if it's the producer's cut or the normal version. That's completely up to you guys. But what movie do you guys prefer? What do you think is the better movie? What do you like better? Do you like Halloween 5? Are you in that ballpark? Or are you in Halloween 6's ballpark? Comment down in the comment section below. We want to know what you guys think. I know which one I prefer, but I'll wait to hear from you guys first. Anyways, let's get to the nitty-gritty of this video. This is another Halloween Kills update. This one specifically regarding the rumors that have been going around for months now about Daniel Harris possibly returning to the franchise. You know, I'm a huge Daniel Harris fan. Uh, I'm sure there are much bigger Daniel Harris fans out there than me, but I think she's a quality actress. I think she, uh, you know, she owns her craft very well. Uh, I, she's very likable too. Um, at the end of the day though, reports came out a couple of months ago. Uh, it's probably more than that now that I think about it, that Danielle Harris might be the big return in this movie that people are talking about. And that Danielle Harris, uh, would be returning to the Halloween franchise, uh, in Halloween kills. And like, it really picked up to the point where you had reputable sources, not saying she'd be back, but at least suggesting that the possibility was definitely there. The hype train took off so fucking much, guys, that you literally had articles from pretty notable horror groups and or sites suggesting that not only is Daniel Harris going to be back, she's going to be playing a different version of Jamie Lloyd. And, I mean, that's kind of just like a, uh, a mind-blowing thing because I, I don't know how the hell that would work. I don't. I mean... There's enough confusion already in the past about, okay, so Halloween 2018, which is actually titled Halloween, is actually a sequel to Halloween uh, that happens 40 years later, but Halloween 2 and the rest of the films don't exist. Um, they had a hill to climb right there and explaining themselves a couple of years ago, and uh, I thought they did a well enough job about it. And then you bring in Daniel Harris, and you're going to have her play Jamie Lloyd again? Those rumors didn't make a whole lot of sense. I'm all for Daniel Harris being back, though. Uh, but the question at the end of the day, guys, that I know a lot of you are wondering, is Daniel Harris in Halloween Kills? And we have the answer. And the answer, in fact, is that Daniel Harris is not 
in Halloween Kills. Uh, that's right. I'm sorry if uh, oh, here comes the haterade. Here we go. People are already shooting the messenger. Uh, um, no, to our knowledge, and we're putting this at like a 99.9% chance. That's how confident we are in our sources and with the material that we have access to. Daniel Harris is not in this movie. Uh, am I a little bummed? I wouldn't say I'm bummed because we've had her in other Halloween content that she's been great in, whether it was uh, in Halloween 4 and 5 or in the Rob Zombie films. You know, I'm not a big fan of the zombie films personally. All film is subjective. But I thought she was wonderful in them personally. Um, so, you know, Daniel Harris is not in Halloween Kills, guys. Uh, maybe this really pisses some of you off. Maybe you're taking your headset, you're... you're Throwing it on the ground. You've had enough. You're like, fuck you, Sean. Fuck you. Um, look, don't shoot the messenger. Uh, all I can tell you is Halloween in Halloween Kills, Daniel Harris is, in fact, not in the movie. Uh, guys, we want to know what you think. Comment down in the comment section below and uh, let us know if you're upset that Daniel Harris isn't in Halloween Kills. Are you okay with the decision that she's not in Halloween Kills? Are you neutral and you just don't give two shits if she's in the movie or not? Uh, you know, it's uh, it, it it's a it's a touchy subject because some people want her in so bad, and I totally understand it. You know, that's what happens when you have such a, a lovable actress and a lovable character. You want to see some version of them return, uh, but that's not the case here in Halloween Kills. Maybe there's a role for her in Halloween Ends. Um, not that what we've heard, I'll tell you that right off the bat, and there are some Halloween ends uh, nuggets that are out there, uh, but to our knowledge here, which, again, I can't state enough, 99.9% .9 sure, guys, Daniel Harris is not in Halloween Kills. Again, comment down in the comment section below, guys. We want to know what you think. Should she have been back? Should she not have been back? Would you have brought her back if you were in charge, and how would you have brought her back? Let us know what you think down below. Uh also want to take a moment here, guys, to uh, just plug our Halloween slash horror podcast we have coming out. Uh, we might put these episodes up on YouTube, uh, but more than likely at the, at the beginning, you're going to have to subscribe to it on podcatchers and whatnot. Is, uh, we have a podcast coming out. We're gonna Halloween's going to be the focus, but we're also going to dive into stuff like The Shining and Scream and Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street and Chucky and so much more. And that is the Camp Haddonfield podcast. That's right. Camp Haddonfield podcast set to launch sometime in June. We want to build up some hype around it before launching it. We, uh, we already have, I'd say a dozen episodes planned out and guests confirmed. Uh, when you do this, you want to, you know, work ahead and, uh, and we'll get there. So, uh, one way that you can, uh, support the Camp Haddonfield podcast is head on over to Instagram which is really where our only account is for uh, this podcast at the moment. And uh, you want to follow Camp Haddonfield Podcast. Uh, it would be greatly appreciated. We're trying to build our Instagram up. If you're interested in stuff that uh, relates to Halloween, Star Wars, Supernatural, and anything else that we cover here, uh, you want to follow Fandom Empire Now. It's not just Fandom Empire. It's Fandom Empire Now. And if you're a Star Wars fan... Uh, and just a Star Wars fan, in which case I don't know why the fuck you'd be watching this video, uh, take a second to uh, follow the Star Wars Renegades account. You can also check us out on Twitter, guys. Uh, that is at Fandom Empire now and at SWR Renegades. Uh, at the end of the day, guys, I know you might be a little pissed that Daniel Harris is not going to be back in this movie. But it's good to have some clarity. You know, I, it's not a spoiler by any mean. I, I'm glad that people will be able to go into this movie if you're watching this video knowing that you shouldn't expect her to pop up. I'd be stunned. Like I said, the cut that we know everything about, which we believe is basically the locked cut, um, she's not in it. So uh, anyways, guys, smash that subscribe button and drop a like if you like the content that we are putting out there. Again, can't say how much we appreciate the support we just crossed the thousand subscriber mark and considering for even though this youtube channel has been up for about a year and a half um 
I'd say a year of that has been extremely inconsistent. And obviously our quality has improved drastically over the last couple of months. So many people to thank for that. If you're looking for another way to support what we're doing here, uh, we just launched our Patreon. That's right. Phantom Empire Patreon goes to supporting all the shows and uh, what we got coming out. You can support us for as little as $2 a month or as much as $10 a month. There's additional content over there that's coming that uh, you're probably not going to want to miss out on. So uh, head on over www.patreon.com slash fandom empire. And even if you can't, you know, subscribe to our Patreon, just tuning into our videos is more than enough. But when we launched our Patreon, we said we wanted to do it for affordable rates. That was fair for everybody. Obviously, it's a tough time in the world right now. And we uh, we just got to do what we have to do to get by. Uh, so at the end of the day, guys, we appreciate you and what you're doing. We hope that we're bettering our content for you guys and that you're finding it more enjoyable. Anyways, this is Fandom Empire. I'm Sean. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And we will see you in the next video. Always remember, yes, in fact, the Boogeyman is coming.